Hello, I'm Darren Walker and I'm on here sharing my hell experience. I only have like seven minutes to get this in, so I have to do it really quick. God, you, I'm doing this for the body of Christ and hopefully that it touches someone. Um, one night I went to sleep and I woke up in a place that was pitch black and there was darkness all around me, but I could feel fear as if it was just like on me because of the not knowing where I was and like there I couldn't see people at first or nothing I didn't know nothing you couldn't see anything you can hear nothing it was nothing but it was just a feeling of like hopelessness and then all of a sudden there was I could start to see people appear around me like like spotlights were put on them but it was like we were spaced out and we couldn't see one another I started to try to cry out to these people but they couldn't hear me I noticed that they could not hear me all of a sudden I saw the people begin to look up and I'm looking up and like we were looking up at this this statue that, like, the best way to describe it, it was exactly this. That's the Lincoln Memorial statue, but it was pitch black. That tall spike statue that is in Washington that is long, tall, and it's a, it's a point. That was in the center, but it was all black. And you couldn't see the base of it, but it was black, and people were looking up at the top of it, and it was like a flat, a, a light on it that was blinking slowly on and off. And as it was doing this, the people would get excited and start chanting and, like, celebrating and dancing and partying. But for me, I just was like, what is wrong with these people? Like, you don't even know what that is. Like, we don't even know. Like, are y'all not worried about where you are or what's going on? So, long story short, um... The light is blinking faster and faster and faster until it gets to a point where it's not blinking no more, just consistently on. So at that point, everybody got quiet and we started to see something falling towards us, like the light falling towards us. And as it got closer, I realized that it wasn't light, that it was something else. It was actually something, fall it was smaller, it wasn't as big as I thought. But as the substance touched my skin, I could not feel it. But I saw what it did to my skin and my skin started to deteriorate, eat away. Like it was burning my skin up. It was lava, fire, it was fire. And as it touched my skin, I heard a woman sh shriek with the most horrible scream that I ever heard in my life. Never heard nothing like it. And then it was like a chain reaction. Like it drops just started to pour out. It started to pour out more than just drop. It was like a flowing, like flowing, like a river flowing water. But it was lava and it filled up the space and the all of, like it turned into this ocean of bodies souls like the flesh were gone and all you could see was their souls and their eyes was like this and their mouths were and that's all you could see and they were just souls on top of souls on top of souls on top of souls flowing through this place and i know that it was hell I woke up and I just couldn't understand. I'm just like, Lord, where in the world? You know, because I grew up in church, you know? And I'm just like, Lord, what's going on? But at a young age, like, I, I, at a young age from the age of 8 to 11, I was molested. And I, I dealt with, I deal with homosexuality. This is why I'm telling you this. Like, at a young age, the, Lord, the devil planted that seed in my life. And... He he allowed the molestation to help it to grow because I did not know what love was at all. Like my father was in my life, he raised us. I was raised by a single parent, but he what he worked all the time. So he couldn't really show the affection. Like he was tired, I understand. So I didn't know what that was and I found when so the enemy placed this seed of lust in my life. It wasn't love, it was lust and it grew. And I feel like this was the dream that God gave me because he was showing me like, Darren, this is where you end up if you continue down this path, you know. But that was one of the first of many warnings that he was trying to give me. And I just want to tell those people out there because I don't have a lot of time. Homosexual, do not be deceived into believing that you were born that way. It's a lie. It's a lie. Straight from the pits of hell. Do not be deceived in believing that uh, God created you that way. It's a lie. That is the devil. Just as I know, as I am battling with it, I'm, I am bearing up my cross every day. You must bear up that cross every day and repent and ask God for forgiveness and go about your life and try not to willingly participate in that sin because if you die in that abominable sin, you will go to hell. Yes, God loves us all, but that is, he tells you what he what he allows and what he does and he tell you what his standard is and what is not and i just want to speak from someone that is dealing with, you were not born that way stop letting the enemy deceive your brain making you feel like that was how you were born and that that is how 
God wants you to be. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Don't be deceived. There's so many people out there that are going to die and go to hell because then look at how they are overly saturating the world with the homosexuality. Why you think they're doing that? You see that more than you see straight than like just what the, the pillars that God set in place that he calls holy. Do not be deceived by this world that is literally being prepared for Satan. Like he's here, but prepare for the Antichrist. You, they have to set the stage. They have to put so much sin in the world. The, the world has to be oozing with sin to set the stage for the Antichrist to come on so that he could just so he can do what his do do what he's supposed to do in his time period, only for a time period. Because God has the last say so. But please do not be deceived, people. That's what I'm on here to say. Please do not be deceived by the devices of the world that are literally, literally everything, these phones, this internet, the, anything that you will put ahead of God in the, in the face, in the place of God. Nothing, nothing else in this world, nothing is, is more good or greater than God. Nothing. Do not let the enemy deceive you in making you think that you any of his lies, because they're lies, because if you ask God, are you going his word, he tells you who you are. If the enemy can get you to not know who you are, your identity, then it's easier to, to give you a false one and make you believe in his lies, and, and then you will start to go around and infect others. You, you know, so I just say this to say to somebody, please hear this, please hear it, God is real. Heaven and hell is real. The devil is real. Look at TV. Devils on every channel. They show them on everything. How can you believe on one side and not the other? God is just is more realer than he is. He's waiting there with his hands stretched out, waiting on you. 